Hey football fans, welcome back to our three-part series where we are designing and 3D printing a custom kicker's tee. In part one of the series, we used a few surfacing tools to create the unique base shape to the design, but from here on out, we'll be using essential modeling tools to add the details to the part. So your typical kicker's tee has a series of ridges on this top face. Rather than extruding all of the individual ridges separately, I'm going to take a different approach to make filleting the ridges simpler. Let's sketch on the top plane and use the Offset Entities tool to offset the boundary of this top surface 0.04 inches inwards. And I'll just draw a few horizontal lines and dimension them into place. Then use the Trim tool to trim away the unwanted portions of the sketch. Then use the Trim tool to trim away the unwanted portions of the sketch, leaving you a fully enclosed sketch. Finally, let's use the Fit Spline tool, which can be found under Tools, Spline Tools, Fit Spline. This tool will help simplify the sketch by combining a few of these lines into a continuous line. I'm going to use this tool for the left and right portions of the sketch, and these are open splines, so make sure the Closed Spline option is not checked. Now exit the sketch, and under the Features tab in the Command Manager, navigate to the Extruded Boss tool. In the dropdown under From, select Surface Face Plane, and select the top curved surface of the part. And we'll do a blind extrusion 0.03 inches. In a minute, I'm going to cut away several areas of this solid to create the ridges, so let's make sure the merge result option is turned off to keep it a separate body. Now this is why I'm using this method instead of extruding all of the individual ridges. Enter the fillet tool, and instead of having to add this fillet to 40 plus edges, we'll simply fillet the left and right edges of this solid with a 0.06 inch fillet. Now I can sketch the cutaways in the top plane. I'll create a 0.05 inch thick box, 0.05 inches from the back edge of this solid. And now enter the linear sketch pattern tool. And we'll create a pattern of 28 of these boxes downwards in the Y axis, dimensioned to 0.1 inches apart. Before clicking OK, let's select the Dimension Spacing option, which will fully constrain this sketch. Now exit the sketch, navigate to the Extruded Cut tool, and select Through All under Direction 1. I just want to cut into this thin solid and not the main base of the T, so under Feature Scope, let's just select this thin body and click OK. When creating cuts that leave behind multiple bodies, you'll see this Bodies to Keep box pop up. In this case, we want to keep all of the bodies that remain, so I'll simply click OK. There we have all of our individual ridges, and we can use the Combine tool with the Add Operation type selected to combine the ridges to the main body. And to wrap up the ridge design, let's soften them up with a small 0.02 inch fillet on all the top edges. To speed up this operation and to reduce the amount of computer power needed for this many fillets, you can select the No Preview option at first, and I'll quickly select all of these top edges. After all of the edges are selected, I'll turn on full preview to make sure I'm happy with the look and hit OK. Now let's add the rear football support pillars, starting with a sketch on the bottom face. Here I'll simply draw two circles to be co-radial with the rear portion of the base shape. Exit the sketch, and we'll extrude these 1.35 inches from the sketch plane. Make sure to add an 8 degree draft angle to this extrusion to match the draft angle of our initial extruded surface from part 1. Now sketching on the top face of these pillars, use the Convert Entities tool to convert the outlines of the top faces of these pillars to the sketch. 
Exit the sketch and extrude these 0.425 inches with a three degree inward draft. To wrap up these pillars, let's soften the tops using the dome tool. Navigate to insert features dome, set the dimension to 0.12 inches and select the top faces of the pillars. Now to create the feet of the T, let's again sketch on the bottom face. We can convert the circles we created for the football support pillars over to this sketch, and then create the third leg at the front of the portion with a circle sketch that is set equal to the other circles and set tangent to the front arc of the T. Now exit the sketch and simply extrude these feet 0.875 inches tall. To wrap up part two of this series, let's just soften up the design with a series of fillets. All right, y'all stay tuned for the final part of the series where we'll finish adding the details to this part and show you the 3D printed kicker's tee, complete with some added color using a really cool technique.